When you feel like you have nothing to wear, but your closet overfloweth with crap, use these tips to create a clean and neat closet that allows room for the addition of new crap. Yay, crap! This is 17 Invaluable Tips for Anybody with Too Many Clothes by Alicia Santoro. 1. To begin, cleaning out a messy closet. Take every single thing out of it. Don't argue with us. 2. When choosing clothes to keep, ask yourself a few vital questions to immediately weed out the weak items. Warning, this may seem like everything you own. Probably. If you answered no to one or more of these questions, you're probably looking at an article of clothing that you bought and loved once, but just isn't your thing anymore. That or it's a weird Halloween costume from high school. Why do you still have that? 3. Hang the items you want to keep in your closet neatly so you can see everything you own at a glance. Don't overstuff though. Common sense. But it's how the clutter creeps its way in. 4. Use a backwards hanger strategy when putting clothes back into your closet to get a better idea of the items you actually wear often. Face all of your hangers away from you and replace each one the right way after wearing the item hanging on it. Check back in six months and then a year to see which hangers are still facing the wrong way. Maybe it's time to get rid of those articles and clean out your closet again. 5. To keep everything looking fresh and neat, get new hangers so that everything in your closet looks uniform. Having all of your hangers look the same will make your organization loving inner self happy. 6. Use garment organizers to separate your clothes into categories that work for you. Seasons, occasions, type of item, etc. So much organization. Yes. 7. Fold heavy clothes, especially sweaters and loose knits that may lose their shape on a hanger. 8. When folding your other keepers, try to think of a way of organizing them before shoving them into drawers or up on shelves. While it may be tempting to color code your clothes via Pinterest inspiration, make sure your organization works for you and won't confuse you as to where your things are. Organize in a way that reminds you of the clothes you have and love. Some pro tips for organizing are at whowhatwhere.com. 9. Assess your reject pile and decide which items can be sold. Check out more info under this video that will make you money for your used clothes. Make your own due diligence before you make your first transaction. 10. If there isn't anything wrong with the items that you do not want to keep, consider giving them away. Schedule for a donation pickup at pickupplease.org or donationtown.org. 11. When you look at an article of your old clothing and just think, nope, then maybe it is destined for the trash. Bye! Or if you or a friend is into DIY, save the fabric scraps to make something awesome. 12. If you're really on the struggle bus, refer to the decision tree above to help you decide whether you still need that neon blue sweater from 1996. A downloadable infographic link is available inside the info area. 13. For extra organization, you can use dividers to end drawer chaos. Drawer dividers like these, or these, can help you manage the things in your drawers that often get too messy to deal with. Unmentionable socks, ties, belts. The drawer is your oyster. If you prefer to DIY, try PVC pipes lined up as dividers. 14. Don't let your floor space go to waste. 15. Decorate your closet or room with wearable items. Hashtags double duty decor. Turn dead wall space into shoe shelving and feature your favorites for display that is both practical and decorative. This would work with bags and accessories too. 16. Maximize shelf space and be super organized by using shelf dividers. Dividers are great for creating a smaller space to stack items like bags or other loose accessories that would normally create a mess without using boxes of storage. If you can see your items directly on the shelf instead of in a box, you're more likely to remember it exists and actually use it. 17. Don't just use your closet doors for opening and closing. Use them for extra storage. Over-the-door shoe bags can be used to store not only shoes, but belts, socks, accessories, and more. If you don't have enough room for a full shoe bag, try hooks or a towel rod to hang items. And now, some incredible closet heaven to both inspire you and make you hate your closet that is probably smaller than an American Eagle dressing room. Ah, oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Yes, that is a two-story closet. I know, right? <sighs> Time to say goodbye. Click like or the share button below if the little jokes you heard didn't offend you. Or comment on it if you have better ideas related to this topic. And last but not least, press the subscribe button if you've never seen this channel before. And see you again later. Thanks for watching.